the headlines, the year 2010 was a time of uncertainty, a time of economic cutbacks, anxiety, and adjusted expectations. In the doldrums of a Great Depression, it seemed like the nation had taken a step back. But the Kingdom of God was on the move, always advancing, meeting people's needs when they needed it the most. Thanks to the tireless work of our miracle partners, First Baptist Church Euless was a part of that growth. Let's take a moment to see how the funds you've contributed and the time you've committed made a difference over the past 12 months. Breathing new life into communities. That's what Six Stones is all about. In 2010, Euless Revitalization expanded to include Hearst, Euless, and Bedford, adopting the new name Community Powered Revitalization, or CPR. In keeping with the name, this ministry gave CPR to nearly 60 homes during the year, making much needed improvements. As part of Operation Back to School, over 2,100 families received assistance, including 3,676 HEB students who were given backpacks. At the new Hope Center, the gospel was changing lives on a daily basis. During 2010, there were more than 1,800 professions of faith, and over 1,000 families received much needed food and clothing. Hope abounded throughout the year, both for body and soul. More than 800 volunteers were part of Kids Beach Club's ministry during 2010, and together they did an amazing job. The story this year was expansion. KBC extended into areas of North and East Texas. It also expanded into the states of Mississippi, Florida, and Georgia, where the Love Project launched in Atlanta. Altogether, more than 21,000 children attended Kids Beach Clubs during the past year. While there, many of them discovered the gospel for the first time with over 2,500 children professing faith in Jesus Christ. If you're looking for ministry on the front lines, where life and death decisions are made every day, look no farther than Mid-Cities Pregnancy Center. The mission is to protect the most vulnerable, and over the past year, the need has only grown. Thankfully, MCPC was there, counseling over twice as many clients as in 2009. Right now, the center in Irving is open four half days during the week, more than 900 gospel presentations were given at MCPC in the past 12 months, resulting in 70 professions of faith. How much value does a life have? How much is a soul worth? The numbers don't tell the whole story here. Now more than ever, Mid-Cities Pregnancy Center is standing in the gap, and we are proud to be supporting them. The Kingdom of God knows no borders, and neither does Next Worldwide. In 2010, 55 youth from First Baptist Church Euless participated in Next Worldwide campaigns, which took place in locations as far away as Shimani, Kenya, and Lagos, Romania, and as close as Kamado, Texas. The work was undertaken in partnership with our brothers and sisters at Pioneer Baptist Church in Abilene. Through the work of Next Worldwide, there were 65 professions of faith. Together, we planted four churches and helped us strengthen three more. We are especially excited about the House of Joy project started in Susani, Romania this year, expecting God to do great things as a result. To the ends of the earth, E3 partners took those words seriously in 2010, launching campaigns to equip, evangelize, and establish churches in the far-flung corners of Tanzania and Venezuela. In partnership with Westwood Baptist Church in Alabama, one campaign focused on the unreached people group located on the island of Yukara in Tanzania. Another campaign carried the gospel to the Piora people, an unreached group tucked away in the Amazonas region of Venezuela. Altogether, E3 partners spearheaded four campaigns in Tanzania and one in Venezuela, with over 38,000 gospel presentations, which resulted in more than 20,000 professions of faith. During the course of these campaigns, an incredible 274 new churches were planted and 91 existing churches were strengthened. When we partner with others outside the walls of our church or ministry, synergy happens. We accomplish more together than we could ever accomplish alone. We not only accomplish more, but also become better people in the process. Continue to pray that the work begun in 2010 will be fruitful for years to come.